Hey Aquarius, let me get this straight here. Aquarius, what's going on? Happy birthday! It is officially Aquarius season, you guys, and I am so excited to be able to bring a happy birthday uh, video for you. Uh, we're going to do a happy birthday spread for you guys um, to celebrate your solar return. This is a little something from me to you, just to thank you for, um, you know, all the love and support you show to the channel. Um, so we got to bring in the Aquarius season with a bang because we are uh, um, entering the age of Aquarius. Technically, it'll start an airy season we're still wrapping up you know pisces uh pisces <laughs> the the age of pisces let's put it that way so we're in the final stages of that but in, and we're celebrating you because we're about to go into the age of aquarius so this is going to be a very special solar return for you all this is really super amazing and super special and um, I definitely want to uh, be able to uh, celebrate that with you and say thank you for what you do for my channel um, for you guys showing all the love and support that you do and consistently coming out and being subscribed and you know commenting and uh, the, the readings that you order and donating to the channel whether it's cards whether it's money you know whether it's your time just to watch the videos your likes you know, you guys are amazing, and I want to thank you so much. And again, happy birthday, Aquarius. Happy birthday, baby. All right, so let's see what we got going on here with your um, your spread. Now, this is not going to resonate with every Aquarius, so just keep that in mind, okay? It's a general read. Take what resonates and leave the rest. Um, you can reach out to me. My information is in the box below if you need a personal reading, okay? And there will not be an extended for the birthday read. This is a very special read that I'm going to do for Aquarius. So let's get cards out. We need five cards. All right. And we'll talk about those cards as soon as I get them out. So what does Aquarius need to know for their solar return for January 2021? January through February 2021 for Aquarius season. Going into the age of Aquarius. What does Aquarius need to know for their birthday season? Thank you. What does Aquarius need to know for their birthday season, their solar return, January 2021 through February 2021? Shout outs to my Aquarius Massive, my January birthdays, my February birthdays. Shout out to my Capricorn Aquarius Cuspers, okay? Happy birthday to you all. All right. I feel like that's what the, the um, if you look at your um, degrees, a lot of people use dates, but it's based on degrees. OK, if you are um, Capricorn, 28 degrees, Capricorn, 29 degrees, Aquarius, zero degrees, Aquarius, one degree, Aquarius, two degrees, that five degree range is what you will call the Capricorn Aquarius cusper. So when you pull up your birth date, it, the dates may go from, what, the 19th? It may go a little earlier. So maybe the 17th or 16th of January. Um, again, it's based on a degree. So pull up your birth chart and look at what degree of Capricorn you are. If you are, again, Capricorn 28 degrees, Capricorn 29 degrees, 0 degrees Aquarius, 1 degree Aquarius, 2 degree Aquarius, that 5 uh, degree range is the actual Capricorn Aquarius cusp, okay? So that date range can vary. It could be anywhere from maybe the 16th, 17th through January um, 25th, something like that. But like I said, the degree is what you're going to look at, not the date, okay? So um, you can type in birth chart um, in Google, you can type in birth chart, January, blah, 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 19, whatever, as far as your birth date. And then um, go to the first one that shows up. It's going to be horoscope.co. Click on that. Um, and then scroll all the way down to the bottom of that page. And you will see what degree uh, Aquarius you are or what degree Capricorn you are. And that way you'll know if you are a true cusper or not. Okay. So overall energy for this is the Queen of Pentacles, okay? So this is an energy of 
to me with the queen energy, the queen energy is, um, it, and I don't read man or woman unless I specifically feel that. This is just an energy. This is an energy. We all have yin and yang. The masculine energy, which is the king's, um, is the yang energy, and that's taking action to do something. The feminine energy is yin, and the yin represents how you feel on the inside, your emotions, your imagination, your intuition, all right, and creativity. That's the feminine energy. So I feel like your overall reading talks about the feminine energy of stability, of being able to provide for yourself financially, uh, wanting stability, wanting long-term success, long-term growth, um, being a wonderful nurturer, being a, 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 a beautiful husband or wife, uh, being a wonderful parent. Um, this, this queen of pentacle energy is the energy of how you feel on the inside, okay? Um, this is somebody who is able to provide stability, whether it's materially or whether it's by putting in time, effort, and energy. Um, this is somebody who can do it either way. OK, as well as the efforts that they put into their family, their lover, their business. OK, and making money as well. This is why I love pentacle energy. OK, because it encompasses so much. All right. So this is how I feel like you guys are feeling on the inside. Now, this first card is the ten of wands. OK, the ten of wands is Sag energy. This card represents um, your energy for last year. So with the Ten of Wands energy here, I feel like this is an energy of, like, if you look at this dragon here, this is somebody who's just, like, ready to blow fire on something. Like, get away from me. I'll blow, you know, I'll burn you up, right? This is what this energy looks like. Like, this is an attack mode. I feel like you guys feel that way um, about last year because of the fact that there were a lot of burdens that you may have had. A lot of um, trials and tribulations that you may have experienced where you were to the point where it was, like, very difficult for you to accomplish these tasks. But keep in mind, with the Ten of, Pent with the ten of Wands, you do accomplish the task because you get to ten. You get to the completion of it. But it was very hard. It was very difficult. It was very frustrating. And I feel like a lot of you, this frustration, I can see here in this car with this dragon frustrating blowing fire at people just frustrated because of all the trials and tribulations and each wand could represent some type of burden or trial or tribulation that you had gone through um like I said with this queen of pentacle energy this could represent those wands could represent something that was going on at work um it could represent something that was going on in the family with your children it could represent something that was going on with your lover or your husband or wife um, it could represent something that's going on in maybe the organizations that you are associated with, okay? Um, any extracurricular activities. This could be with your friends, all right? So all of these wands could represent all of those different areas of life where you may have been stretched to the limit, and it's just like I'm carrying all these burdens from all these different areas of my life, and it's just like, when is this going to end? But you made it through, baby. You made it through with that ten of wands. You made it through, all right? The second card here is the Nine of Cups in reverse. And this represents what you must let go of this year. I'm going to show you the Nine of Cups upright. This is Piscean energy, Nine of Cups, okay? And it's what you must let go of this year, and it came out in reverse. So with the Nine of Cups energy in reverse being Piscean energy, um, this is you letting go of... Not, I feel like you were being selfless for everybody else but you. I feel like you were taking care of everybody else but you. Because the Nine of Cups represents to me, it represents self-love, taking care of you, um, being happy emotionally within yourself. And I feel like when that was in reverse, you guys weren't that way. And I feel like it's because you were so burdened with other responsibilities of what was going on around you. Whether it was at work, whether it was with your children, whether it was with your lover, or your husband or wife, whether it was with your friends or, or um, you know, associates, whether it was with the people in your organizations that you um, are a part of. Like, I feel like you had multiple, multiple burdens that you were dealing with. Um, it could have been with siblings as well, with family members, not just, you know, your children, but it could have been siblings. It could be older parents. Some of you may have to take care of older parents. Um, some of you may have had to take care of older parents while still helping to support your, your grown children. And some of you, those grown children may have great grand, you know, you may have grands and great grands and you're taking care of them too. 
Okay, on top of whatever responsibilities you may have at work or, you know, with your business, on top of whatever responsibilities, if you're in local organizations, that, you know, um, all kinds of things, right? And I feel like you were neglecting yourself as far as what it was that you really wanted and what made you happy with the Nine of, co nine of uh, uh, Hearts. I can't, I can't even talk. With the Nine of Cups in reverse. So I feel like what you need to let go of is the unhappiness, Um which stem from you taking care of everybody else and not taking care of you. Okay? That's what I'm getting. Now, we got the five of pentacles in reverse. This card represents um, what gift the universe will bring you. All right? So, with the five of pentacles in reverse, I feel like this is going to bring you financial stability. Because, you know, the five of pentacles in reverse represents... Um, positive financial uh, situations, okay, which is why we have the overall energy of the Queen of Pentacles. She's financially stable, okay? She's got money in the bank. She makes long-term investments. She's able to strategize. She has multiple streams of income. She's secure. She's grounded. She's got that 401k. She's got other um, forms of income coming in. If she's working, she's got that. If she doesn't, she ha she's got multiple streams of income. This woman is good. She can take care of herself, she can help fund, you know, take care of her elderly parents. She can take care of her grown ass kids, give them what they need. And she can take care of any grands and great grands. Like she, you know, as far as that energy is the energy of wanting to do this for your family members and being able to do so. Okay. So with that being said here, what the universe is giving you a gift of or what they're bringing you is that opportunity to be financially stable and stay financially stable. Also, this is about good health, bringing in good health. A lot of you are, are sturdy as a rock. Okay. Saturn is your co-ruler and Uranus is your uh, first ruler. And you know, Saturn, most people who have heavy Saturn placements, they're pretty sturdy, strong. Okay. Uh, people. Uh, it deals with the skeletal system, the bones, okay? So a lot of you, you know, you, you haven't pretty much, uh, most of you have not broken any bones. You know what I mean? Um, if you have maybe had a light fracture or maybe you broke one bone or two bones, a lot of you may not have even had a lot of surgery in your life, okay? Pretty healthy, all right? But if you were suffering from some um, health issues, your health is going to be getting better. So the universe is going to bring you, the, that's a beautiful ass gift because if you don't have health, what... What the hell does it matter how much money you have? If you are a millionaire right now and you're sitting in your deathbed terminally ill, you can't take that money that you have and buy health. You cannot. I tell you what, if you ask a millionaire who's laying on their deathbed what they could have, if they could have anything they wanted, they could buy anything they wanted, they're going to tell you that they will want their health. So... Uh, Congratulations to some of you. You're going to be getting better. You're, help, you're going to get your health back. You know, whether you were sick, whether you were diagnosed with something. Some of you may have, you know, um, had some ailments or some aches. It could have been anything minor from some ailments, aches. You know, maybe you just have to take high blood pressure medicine. Maybe your, you know, blood pressure was skyrocketing and you take high blood pressure now and everything is starting to get back to normal. Maybe you're getting off blood pressure medicine diabetic medication whatever medication you were on if you were on anything maybe you were in the hospital maybe you were bedridden maybe you had a broken bone or two but the universe is blessing you with good health and good financial return that is freaking amazing aquarius that's the gift the universe is giving you baby all right now this fourth card represents what you should embrace okay so this is the five of swords in reverse. Okay, this is your energy. All right, but I'll show you the card upright. So the five of swords in reverse, What this is what you should embrace. Okay, so all of the mental frustration and confusion, um, embrace the fact that that is over. Embrace the fact that you're not going to be, and I feel like a lot of that, that five of swords energy when it was upright, I feel like it was a lot of you, a lot about you being in conflict with doing everything for everybody else, being burdened out, doing everything for everybody else, putting everybody else first, trying to satisfy everybody, but not taking care of yourself. Okay. And I feel like what the universe is saying, what you should embrace is taking care of yourself, taking care of your health. Okay. Putting that in the upright motion. I mean, putting that in the reverse motion with the five of pentacles. You want that in reverse. Taking care of your health. 
Okay, so you're going to get that. So you should embrace the fact that, you know, what mental stress that you're going to that you've had that may have gotten you sick for some of you. Okay, that is going to be put to rest. All right. The universe wants you to say, look, if you got into a situation where you had some financial difficulties or where you had some health problems, whatever got you to that point, you need to embrace the fact that that has to stop. It has to be put to rest. And a lot of that, again, is all about you putting yourself before, you know, in the forefront instead of, uh, I'm sorry, putting others in the forefront instead of yourself. And then the last card here represents um, what energies uh, represent this coming year. Not just this coming year, but this current cycle for you, this coming cycle. Look at this, baby. Look at this. The Four of Wands. All right. So for some of you, what you should embrace this season is you are going to meet your twin flame. You're going to meet your divine masculine, your divine feminine. Okay. Setting off um, uh, age of Aquarius. You're going to run into your people. Okay. You're going to run. Now, Aries uh, is ruled by Four of Wands. So I feel like. You got a lot of us. We got to go through Pisces season. We got to go through Aquarius season. We got to go through Pisces season because a lot of people still have. We're going to be getting our karma. Okay, those who did well, you know, because Pisces is karma. All right, and uh, um, so those who were doing well are going to reap the benefits and the rewards of it. Those who weren't aren't. Okay, so hopefully you're on the side of of the person who was doing good, doing well. It looks like for a lot of you, you were doing okay. So as a result, the universe is going to bless you. The universe is blessing you with good health, good financial standing. And for a lot of you, um, this is going to be joyous family occasions, celebrations, friendships, parties, um, weddings, um, birthdays, um, uh, retirements, all, all things of celebration. Okay. Not only that, um, a lot of you are going to meet your lover. You're going to run into your lover or you and your lover are going to consummate things where you guys are going to be living together. All right. And you're going to be happy. This is a beautiful freaking reading Aquarius. This is so freaking dope. I love this energy for you guys. All right. Let's get you some, um, Let's get you a, uh, I've been feeling these, I've been feeling this deck lately. I've been feeling the, uh, spirit animal oracle lately. So let's get you, um, energy out of here. Let's see what the universe, what energy, animal energy, the universe wants you to embody for your solar return. This is beautiful. Oh my God. And just keep in mind, wherever you have Aquarius in your chart, um, is where you're going to be experiencing this beautiful um, energy, okay? Whether it's ascending sign, moon, sun, Venus, Mars, Mercury, Jupiter especially, um, Saturn, Neptune, Venus, wherever you have Aquarius in your chart, whatever house you have that in, you're going to be experiencing these beautiful energies. So look at your chart and see where you have Aquarius, okay? All right. So what messages or what um, what energy, what animal energy is going to be good for Aquarius? Okay, so we have Ryan. Oh, oof, baby, you're going to be overcoming any obstacle, okay? If there's any health issues, you're overcoming that. The universe is blessing you with that gift. It's a done deal. If you have any financial obstacles, the universe is blessing you with that. It's a done deal. Okay, your family, your your happiness, your success, um, your uh, mental and emotional stability as well. Okay, lots of passion. Okay, some of you are like I said, you're gonna be meeting your lover, your twin flame, your um soulmate, your your um divine masculine, divine feminine. Um, you're gonna have lots of happy family celebrations. Some of you, the family is gonna be getting back together. All right. This is beautiful energy and you're going to overcome any obstacle. OK, you see that 50 there breaks down to five. So any type of challenge that comes your way, you're going to be able to overcome that. OK, you got the universe's blessings, baby. All right. What else? We have Bobcat spirit. Life is a mystery. All right, and we have the number eight there. To me, eights represent manifestation. So I feel like this is a good time for you to start manifesting what it is that you truly want. Um, we have some placements going on. Is it Jupiter and um, 
Yeah, so Jupiter, where's Jupiter at right now? Hold on, y'all. Because Jupiter and Neptune. Hold on, hold on. Let me pull up the placements right now. Because there's some type of conjunction going on that is great for manifesting. Oh, damn, it's saying my internet is not on. And I got to do it on my phone because I'm recording on my phone. But there's some type of um, planetary alignment that's going on with Jupiter. And I believe it's Neptune. Um... But start manifesting what you want. I wish I could pull that up. I'm sorry. Start manifesting what it is that you want. Okay? Because the universe is going to be able to give that to you. You're going to have whatever happiness you want. Financial prosperity, you got it. You want to meet your lover, you got it. You want good health, you got it. You want to stop stressing and, and being aggravated and focus more on self-love, you got it. All this in this one reading. Beautiful energy. Let's get one more for you guys. Let's keep the good vibes going. All right. We got two more. So it says, Dear Spirit, bring a gentle touch. Okay, bring a gentle touch. So there's no need for you. The universe is on your side working for you. So there's no need for you to be in this dragon mode anymore. Blowing, you know, blowing fire at people, talking to people nasty or frustrated because the universe is going to take that frustration out of your life where you don't even have to be that way anymore. All right. You're being blessed here. So as a result here, you have no choice but to bring a gentle touch. You're not going to want to be upset. You're going to be so blessed. You're not even going to want to be upset and angry at anybody. But even if you need a little reminder, I mean, life happens. Sometimes things do, you know, there's a monkey wrench that gets thrown in every once in a while. But the universe is saying, you know, especially for those of you, I feel like, who are, you know, reuniting with family members, okay? Or meeting up with your partner. Now, your partner could be someone from the past. And maybe you had a bad falling out with them, okay? The universe is saying when you communicate, just bring a gentle touch, don't be aggressive. Don't be, you know, on the on the dragon mode. It's not necessary because the universe is going to work it out for you anyway. You got all this good energy here. All right. Whatever you want to bring into fruition, you're able to manifest. The universe is giving you that blessing. And then we have bat spirit. Ooh, a rebirth is assured. So a lot of you are going through a transformative state, going through a transformation here. And that could be what this stress is all about as well. It's like every area of your life, a lot of people, when you go through a transformation, it's like the first thing you notice is every area of your life is, is stressful. Whether it's career, whether it's home and family, whether it's your friends, whether it's, you know, if you're in organizations or you rub shoulders with people where you're networking or you're in charitable, charitable events or doing something in your community, that type of thing. Well, every area of your life, when you go through an ascension, is affected, okay? So for some of you, that's what you were doing. You were going through an ascension, okay? And I, I, don't, know, I don't see how many Aquariuses weren't, especially now we're entering into age of Aquarius. So I'm sure a lot of you are going through a major transformation or those who have Aquarius in various placements of your chart, you're going through transformation in that particular area of the house right now or that particular area of your chart right now, whatever house you have Aquarius in, all right? And that spirit is saying here, uh, a rebirth is assured. So there's that five again. We were dealing with another five here where there was change, Okay, change, struggle, all right, challenges, all right, but the universe is saying rebirth is assured. And baby, when that rebirth comes, when that rebirth is completed, okay, this is what you got going on. The queen of pentacles, all right, the four of wands, and the five of pentacles in reverse, Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful energy. I'm so glad I was able to bring you this beautiful reading here. I wish you guys a very, very prosperous, happy birthday season and solar return. And I love you and thank you so much for your support. I can't wait to see what the age of Aquarius brings and what Aquarius season brings to us. Peace and blessings, my Aquarius. I love you guys. Take care.